Alright guys, welcome back. Got an actual first review in the new place. I know the there's some echoing issues, but I don't know. Um, Stone Delicious IPA. Uh, picked up a six pack of this because one of the beer beer groups I'm in for Oklahoma. Uh, guy said it was nothing but Nothing but just straight bitterness. So, uh, this is the last one. So, I shouldn't know what to expect. Alrighty. Uh, it does say it's a citrus, uh, citrusy India pale ale with lemon drop and Eldorado hops. So I'll kind of go over what I first thought about this beer. Uh, all the bottle openers at the house, so I'm stuck using keys. Uh, the very first one I had, uh, I wasn't getting a whole lot of flavor. Um, I was mainly getting just dryness. Uh, I wouldn't even call it bitterness, it was like chewing on like the spot in between a pecan and the whole little paper thin kind of shit. Um, the second one, I wasn't getting as much dryness, a little bit more flavor, and it's kind of escalated. You know, every one I've had has been a little more different. Like one I had last night, uh, I could definitely smell and taste the lemon, um, and the dryness really wasn't there for me. So it must it must be one of those kind of beers that you know it takes a little bit of, of drinking to kind of warm up to it. I'm getting a lemon oil, kind of a citrus, not leaning towards an orange or a grapefruit, just kind of an all around citrus, like a lime, lemon, uh, something around there, more towards the oils. Almost like a like a lemon cleaner. Kind of smells kind of artificial. I guess you could say it smells kind of artificial because it's just so straightforward with the lemon. Mm, it smells damn good. Um, like I do, like I said, I do suggest getting at least, if you're going to get it in singles, pick up two or three. Uh, don't have one every day, have one, wait a couple of days. Uh, see how you like it, don't drink them all at once, you're, you're going to hate it. Uh, or do like I did and drag out a six pack over the course of about eight or nine days. Um, actually, it's almost two weeks. Uh, last night was the first time I had a beer in eight, eight days. Um, I had a cold. I still got a little bit of stuffiness, uh, but the past few days have been no chance of enjoying food or, or beer. So, hmm. Alright, let's get into it. I'm really enjoying this a lot more now. Um, the dryness is there, still there just a little bit. I know I didn't mention it, but it's 7.7%. Uh, 7 This is a citrus oil, citrus oil forward. It's not a, you know, lemon juice or orange juice or nothing like that. Um, it's like you're getting the natural resins. Yeah, and you're gonna have to be into uh, IPAs to. To enjoy it. Um, for being 7.7%, you know, it's it's about half a percent away from being a double IPA, so 
keep that in mind. Uh, this was bottled on 12317, uh, enjoy by 42317, so this is uh, February 18th right now, so doing pretty good. Let me shut this shit off. Um, I'm going to gaze through this real quick. I'll, I'll cut it out to not bore you. Okay, so it doesn't really mention much. Uh, it just talks about uh, it is reduced gluten, uh, a flavorful cutting edge, modern day IPA for everyone. Lemon drop and Eldorado hops provide plenty of fruity citrus character. The burst of hop zing that sings on the palate. This is one brewery right here, uh, Twisted Spike. Um, I've had a few of their beers. Uh, they just recently started bottling them. I haven't seen them in liquor stores. Uh, they are out of Oklahoma City. Um, may need to find where their brewery is and go in and see if I can get some singles. Uh, if not, uh, they don't allow singles. And, I'll inform them. I'm going to review your stuff. I don't want to buy six six packs, six four packs. I don't want to do that shit. Um, it'd be great if they do that for me, but if not, then I guess, guess I'll be waiting. Hope you like the, the new area. Uh, I got two four foot LED uh, shop lights. It's a lot, lot brighter in here. Um, definitely the shadows are gone. Uh, I mean, before, like six inches above my head, I would have fluorescence. You now I got managed, like almost flush to the ceiling. So I got more, to, more towards in the middle. Like right now is where I'm underneath them. So I got more directed light, but. This uh, track for the, the garage door is kind of leaving a little bit of a shadow. I'm not sure if that's coming through on camera or not. But one thing I did notice, there's a lot of echo, so I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I might start doing reviews with the uh, garage door open and the car in the driveway. So. place is looking pretty damn good so far. Uh, pretty much what we're down to now is uh, getting some stuff out of the kitchen, um, finished packing up my son's toys and shit. Uh, we got a couple chairs to take my mother-in-law. <coughs> we got a couple of chairs to take my mother-in-law's house. Um, there's a storage building we got to go through. Almost all of it's going to be trashed. Then pretty much a whole trailer load worth of uh, shit that we've saved that we thought we might need, but yeah, we're just gonna trash it. Find out a place here that we can can run it and trash it. So, well, this kind of sucks. Um, I drank the one last night. I was hoping to have two to review today. So. Um, it's really good. It just sucks that you've got to, you know, kind of prime yourself to enjoy it fully. Uh, at least that's the way it's been for me. Uh, the other guy said he drank all, all six of them in one night. Goddamn, bet he was feeling pretty fucking buzzed. Um, and he said it was terrible. Nothing but bitterness. No flavor. So... For a higher ABV IPA, I'll say eight and a half. Um, it's really bursting with the lemon, even in the smell. It's uh, pretty damn strong, but I just don't like. 
that I kind of, you know, have to get used to it. Um, I've had lot stronger uh, flavored IPAs, but this just, you're lucky you didn't see me review this the first time I had one. It would have, it would probably got like a three, so there we go. Stone Delicious IPA, giving you an eight and a half. Um, grab you a six pack. <laughs> You're going to need it. All right, we'll be seeing you.